Impression Sunrise. A scene from the Port of the Havre was created by Claude Monet. A perfect example of what Impressionism is. Let's find out more about Impressionism. Impressionism begins with the famous superiority of art, a different style and approach on what art is. Artist, bold defines of common standard in art, is what makes this art movement revolutionary. Up until the present, the revolution of art is a common theme, thanks to the Impressionists who paved the way. The first Impressionist exhibition took place in April to May 1874 in a gallery on Rue de Capucines in Paris. The movement was led by artists like Claude Bonnet, Edgar Degas, Pierre Auguste Renoir, and Camille Pizarro. Five or six lunatics, one of each is a woman, stated during their second exhibition, and that woman is Beth Morisou. Moreover, until 1886, they held eight exhibitions on their own in total. Unfinished and Impressionist, turned by M. Louis Leroy, in the article, Lou Charival was a derogatory word but is adopted by the group and received the authority. Impressionism is known for its casual, informal, loose brush strokes and inaccurate from nature. Impressionists play with lights to affect the mood of the viewer. Bitterness hinder the perception of present past. But liveliness is what it depicts now. Also, Impressionists use intense color while dark tones are rare. Many Impressionists leave the studio when paint outdoors or in plein air. For example, this painting of Cloud Bonnet at the riverbank with a couple of boats, an engine bridge, and the scenery. Finally, the subject that Impressionists mostly use is often about daily lives and stays away from biblical, historical, and mythological scenes. Impressionism is indeed a revolutionary art, and the latter movement that defies the norm owes a portion of courage from this movement. Impressionism begins with the famous of art, a different style and approach on what art is.